All right, y'all, it's the day before Christmas. Uh, I know I dropped that other video on my new four-wheeler, and this one's just gonna be a quick overview. I know everybody's ready to see me drive it and ride it and all that, but uh, you'll see everything that I've done so far has changed a whole lot, and it's gonna change even more, hopefully, uh, just depending on what I decide to do. I wanted to do the majority of the mods that I wanted uh, prior to taking it out, because it's a lot easier for installations and stuff like that when brand new it don't have anything caked on it or whatever so uh like i said it's just a quick video like the last one was you'll just see how it looks i'll explain kind of what i did to it and uh the changes that i made and uh all that so all right. here so is. here it is here's the 2022 outlander uh first thing you see obviously is the new tires i went with the 29 and a half assassinators uh they're 29 by 8 14s uh, just on the stock wheels so that's that uh, around the back i put my yoshimira exhaust from my last four wheeler on it hopefully that's not too loud on the camera but i wanted to leave it running so anybody that wanted to hear it could hear it but uh in my opinion that's uh probably that's probably one of the best exhausts that you can go with on uh on the can-ams uh outlanders anyways because it's just a quality exhaust i think i mean now, I put, this exhaust has probably like a thousand miles on it or so. I mean, in mud and everything. And I just cleaned it. I had had no problems with it. It's not all caked up. It don't sound all clogged up or none of that like some of the other cheap ones do. Uh, the next thing I have, and you can see the little sticker that I put there. I got the Dino Jet. Uh, on my last one, I had the, the flash. I got it flashed, uh, which is basically you send your ECU in and they... Uh, they edit your ecu or whatever uh but this time i decided to go with the dino jet and that's what this one has and let me tell you that thing has a lot of power uh i'm not sure where it stands on speed as far as versus the last one but it's pretty quick i'll, I'll say that and obviously i hadn't had any mud or anything yet so i don't know how that's going to go with these tires being different but uh we'll see and then really the last thing i mean i took all the stickers off like i said i was gonna do they were all over here and all over there and there but the last thing i did i think i'll start it again but i shouldn't have cut it off As you can see i got the far mud and i went with the white halos uh i think they look great i mean probably the best color that i've seen on them in my opinion that is uh the green ones on the green and gray bikes those look good but for this, I think I made the right choice. I'm happy, very happy with how these turned out uh, and how they look. The, the installation, if you're okay with wiring and stuff, then uh, that's really all that there is to it. It's not too hard, but you can see that's it. What's coming next is uh, we're going to be at Hogwaller New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We're going to stay the night that, that weekend. So... If anybody wants to come out and ride or see my new four-wheeler or whatever, that's where I'll be at. So y'all come on. Uh, I look forward to seeing everybody that wants to hang out, ride together, whatever. I'm I'm a, I'm a friendly guy, you know, just looking to have fun with whoever wants to have fun. So uh, I'll see y'all out there. Get ready for that. Uh, I'll catch y'all later. Y'all have a great Christmas, a uh, great new year, and Merry Christmas to everyone. God bless.